Hey guys, what is up? Eric Killer here, one half of the Hill Twins. And today we are back at it again with another video. As you guys can see, we are live with Trunks from set 16. Uh, we've been doing a lot of test playing with it and therefore I wanted to get some gameplay out. As you guys can see, I'm facing Guvna. Um, he is using Green Bearers. This is another new leader coming out of set 16. So I really thought uh, to record this match because I really assumed that you guys would enjoy something like this so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the game and uh see where it takes us okay so um as you guys can see um i'm just fixing trying to fix the screen so sorry about that but um i believe i start because i roll a 14 and Guvna. Not too sure what he rolls, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just start setting up my hand. And as you guys can see below, um, you know, the hand is looking pretty decent in terms of, you know, it's looking pretty decent in terms of being able to awaken on turn uh, two. You got your unison, um, you got your blocker, um, you got your thwarting, and so I just melee everything but the blocker, the unison, and the thwarting. And I ended up getting a putine, um, SSG, and another thwarting, and I uh, was hoping to get some super combos, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, I rolled a 14, and um, I mean, I rolled a 17. Cause he rolled a 14 as well, so I ended up rolling a 17, and I and, I, and I'm able to go first. And um, so I go ahead and trigger leader effect, and this is the the turn one, you know, just warp, draw two. You get your one sane and a drop already. And uh, one of the cool things about this leader um, is, like I, I always say, you don't have to attack. So on turn one, you can still get value. So I'm gonna go ahead and warp three from playing this trunks, and this is just gonna allow me to be able to. Um, awaken as soon as possible next turn and as you guys can see this new green um barris is actually pretty nuts he's a 15k leader off of rip and um you know he he can uh rest himself to draw a card on the front side on that side and um he just goes ahead and establishes a um a demigra now here's the thing you know he starts off with four life so that's kind of rough because I can just start swinging into the Migra. And if you don't have Dormant, then, you know, you just, you, you, you know, you just automatically, um, you just automatically go neg if you don't have Dormant. And again, guys, I apologize. I was just trying to fix the screen for the stream uh, when I was initially recording it. But I'm now going to be able to... Um, just take advantage of the fact that his unison is just com completely like it's a unison is just completely at my mercy and he's already out for life so it's kind of hard for him to really you know really keep this unison and it makes sense because it is a one drop unison and the, the leader does work with unisons and the other empowerment stuff but as you guys see right here, I go ahead and I warp one to draw to two, and then I summon my unison, and this is just gonna allow me to instantly awaken, and um, that's 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 really powerful. Um, so I go ahead and I'm gonna warp three extra because I just want to get as much cards in the warp before I stop warping uh, from the top of the deck, and so now I have a solid seven and. I'm able to awaken, and this is big because now I'm going to be able to attack the unison and just apply so much pressure to the unison. And obviously, he is at four uh, life. He is at four life, so, you know. I go ahead and I swing into unison with this. And he's like, no response. So I'm like, okay, cool, no response. No combos. And, you know, he, he eats the life. And I'm like, okay, attack Unison again. So now he's at three life. And this is big because, you know, I'm, I intend on summoning Thorning to begin with. But 
um, you know, it's one of those things where I don't want to run into a freezer. So you, in order for you to stop me from doing what I want to do, then you got to take that life. So now I attack it to the unison and he's at two life right now. And I'm like, yo, if you take this damage, that's on you. Um, so I go ahead and I warp that. But I'm like, wait, let me check my drop, my warp. And I have a Vegeta and a Goku in there. So, you know, I'm like, all right, cool. I warp that. I'll draw two. And um, it's pretty much it's pretty much on site. It's pretty much on site. Um, so I go ahead and I warp uh, those two. And, um, you know, it. it's pretty much looking really grim so he has to lose the marker so now i'm like okay you know what i'm gonna summon thornton he is already at two life at this point i can over i can i can uh, fuse and attack it to lead because you're at two life so had i been awakened i would have been able to use super combos i mean had i been at four or less life i would have been, been able to use super combos and everything but um you know at this point he has he's at two life and i'm like you know what i'm just gonna dump as much combo power as i can and just call it a day and also as you guys see i do have the overall so overall is there available for me you know I, I go up to a 45k now his leader is a base 15k which is pretty good um but with the aggression that I was able to apply with him dropping the unison was really the biggest issue, I believe. And so, yeah, you know, I, I, I think that the unison was definitely an issue. I think he should have let go of the unison a long time ago. Um, but now he's committing some super combos and that's good because he used two super combos already and i'm like okay well you used two super combos already so you know i, I have two super combos in my hand if you, worst case scenario you get me to like four life you know i'll be able to on a crack back either win or protect myself and that's 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 what i'm looking at so now he awakens and he's a 20k leader this is like nuts so he's automatically a 40k combo and um i'm like okay uh, all he needs is 10 more K. And so, I guess he was just kind of figuring out. Is he, about, he, got, he has about 10 cards in his hand. So I guess he was kind of just figuring out, you know, what he wanted to combo at this point. And um, I know it's difficult because he's at two life. And, you know, it's just rough. So, so go ahead and combos that 10k universe 7 uh, Andra 18. She comes into play after the battle, which is pretty good. But he doesn't have the name that's planning out right now either, which is like, you know, obviously it's more of a turn two thing. If you didn't see that other unison, I'm um, not gonna overwhelm here and just pick up a Thording or a three drop, and you know, I'm, I'm sitting, I'm sitting comfortable, and you know, I think this is what. I, well, I, I can't say too sure that it's a big floor that you start at for 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 life, but having that Demigra and just going down to like two or one is just not good so at this point i'm like you know what i'm gonna make you pay I, you're at two life i, I just want the demigra dead it's either that or you go to one and uh he goes to one and i'm like oh wow okay you know so he goes to one and it's just literally like you don't have much to do you know like you're gonna be at two energy you awakened already like what 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 could you do you know what can you do and so you know i'm sitting comfortably honestly i'm like okay well yo and i go ahead and adjust 
the thingy again and this time you can't see my hand which is unfortunate but I do have two super combos a blocker and a gate and a fighting against fate so he's able to do this empowerment thingy and this Whis is pretty cool because he comes into play with the, the Megra marker, so he's able to like summon the Megra, attack with the Megra, and then take the you take the markers off of the Megra, which was cool. And I guess that was the concept, but it just cost him so much. And now I was able to activate oh, he made me discard a card, but I have seven life, so I'm like, I'm just gonna discard the, the blocker negate. Like, why would I discard anything else, right? And um he uptakes and plays the nameless planet and the concept is, is cute but I don't see much of it happening so he goes and he attacks this card and I'm like well I know your leader works off a battle card so wow my leader's a blocker hmm um yeah so He's able to, he comboed off the, the Chomper extra card, and that's going to be able to KO, give 10k to the battle card and KO, but I did block this attack, so I'm going to take the damage and go to 6, regardless, um, and I think he was just trying to get me to, um, you know, discard another card, but that's not how the effect works. So I'm over there just kind of reading the Nameless Planet. And um, we we're just kind of like discussing, you know, some things. So I go ahead and take the life, and um, now I'm at six. And I have this Goku here. If I draw like a Vegeta, another Goku. Next turn is going to be just too powerful. He has to have a Dormant. He does have eight cards in hand, but that's just not enough. Um, and it's just, I don't know. The deck seemed really good in terms of... I, I think he just lost a lot of value with the, with the Demigra Yu in the sin, um, personally. So he goes ahead and attacks my leader. And I'm like, no response. You know, I want to take as much damage as possible to turn these super combos on. And so, yeah, I go from five, I go from uh, from six to five. And this is going to solidify my weekend, which is really good. And you see, I drew that Trunks there too, which is another battle card that I can play. So I have an I have access to Trunks, to fighting against fate, to uh, access to um, the one drop attacker. And I'm like, oh, I drew this Kai charge. What do I charge that? Oh, because I didn't know if I was gonna win this turn or not. So I charged that. I know I do have another Trunks in a in a warp. So I'm gonna go ahead and. You know, attack lead to to lead because um, you know I, I am afraid of a dormant. I won't lie. I was just kind of figuring out like who did I want to attack with first, and ultimately I determined. Um, yeah, so I do attack with Unison, and, you know, I'm, he's like, no response, and, um, you know, ultimately I'm going to go ahead and combo this blocker, because the point is, you, you really don't want the blockers to, um, to die due to battle card attacks, because then their nameless planet starts to trigger, and other battle card effects start to trigger, so... I go ahead and I'm at 20 and at this point I'm like you're tapped out you haven't used the doormat 20 to your 20 and I want that hand to just start crumbling so now I'm at three cards in warp and this is good um, 
because I know that um, I still have access to Thorning. I have access to some stuff, so it was just kind of communicating. Having a 20k leader was just pretty broken. So this is big now because now I get to actually get to four less life. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this life, and I have two super combos in hand already. So you know, it's it's just like you're at one life. I could just throw all this on the super combo, and then summon fighting against fate, attack, attack again. I was afraid of a Frieza, but I said, you know what? It doesn't even matter. Like, I rather get Frieza now because I still had access to dual attacks, and I threw a double strike, and I'm like, damn, that's pretty nuts. I'm like, you know what, 25, I'm like, let me get 35, because it doesn't matter. And, and I got rid of the Chompa, because she's at one already, so I don't need to invest in wasting energy when I, I know I have battle cards that I want to, like, dual attack battle cards. So I go ahead and do combo poutine, and that's going to put me at 6 exactly. So I'm at 25, 35, 40k, and he just, you know, it's not much he can do. I didn't even attack with lead, and you know that that's that's just big. So he says GGs, and that's the scoop right there. And the drop, I did have some other stuff, um, you know, but I'm definitely looking to see what um, the green bearers has in store for us. Um, it seems that could be could be interesting. Um, I guess it wasn't the best display of the deck, but we'll see what happens. But again, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, leave a thumbs up. If you guys are enjoying the Untapped series, give me feedback. Let me know. Um, the next videos will, you know, you won't have to worry about the layouts um, interfecting, um, interrupting the video. I did record these videos really late at night, so I'm exhausted, tired had a long day um but thanks so much for tuning in guys um yo you guys know the vibes like always stay super thanks